Geek is back in black. What's inside the newest My Geek box, the monthly geek subscription box. Well, so it would seem that My Geek Box has changed things up from the normal gray box that we expect to see every single month delivered to our doorstep. Instead, they've taken a trip to the dark side, delivering not only a black box, but upgraded to an extra large size. As I'm sure many of us can currently agree, our own current status as well. Nonetheless, though, we're going to go ahead and get the box opened up, check out the contents inside. I can sort of give you a little bit of 411 of what one would expect to get in a My Geek box. If that box is gray, black, or otherwise, you'll get collectibles, trade paperbacks, t-shirts, and so much more. We're going to go ahead and slice this turkey open down below. You'll see there's a bottom seal covering over My Geek box. We're going to remedy quickly that by grabbing my Chet Cunnington knife, Chet Cunnington the third, that is. I'm going to slice the tape down below. I have noticed also that this size of box has also increased in weight. Hopefully, again, that will mean some nice, pleasant surprises inside. Putting my knife to the side, I made sure I put the blade down so I was going to be cutting myself. Let's go put that to the side. Let's open up and examine the things that we got inside this month's offering from my geek box. Starting first, of course, with some packing pillows. We don't really need that, I don't think. Anybody? No? Anybody? No? Okay. Put that to the side. It seems like we've gotten ourselves a bunch of ships and collectibles in this go-around. Starting first, we've got the pixel version of Marty McFly. I believe we did get Lorraine not too long ago, I, from what I remember at least. There's Marty McFly there on the side. These are just Staction collectible figures, in fact. Just to prove that, slicing the tape on the back here. Let's do our best not to rip the flap, because, man, that would, I probably shouldn't have even said that. There we go. Open this up. Well, I will admit the Lorraine was just okay. Marty McFly is a little, little more interesting. Yeah, yeah. So there's no articulation at all on his head. He's got a nice, happy little smile, though. Of course, he's wearing his life preserver jacket. That's what he looks like on the back. Uh, generally, quite light too. There's really very little in the way of weight for, for this. It's not bad. I like that. Hopefully, at some point, we'll get ourselves a Doc Brown. Doc Brown and Marty McFly, yes. Lorraine, eh, not as much. Not as much. We'll put him actually over there just for the time being. Clean up ourselves as we go along. Uh, to go along with that, speaking of pixels, we got the entire cast of Big Bang Theory. Well, most of them, at least. Honest truth, though, just between you and me and the other four people watching this, I've only really watched half an episode of, my, of the Big Bang Theory. I've just never really got into it. I feel like I really should get into it because I love geek stuff and pop culture, and yet sitting down to watch an episode, just couldn't get into it. Do you guys like the Big Bang Theory? Let me know down below in the comments section. In the meantime, though, we can spin this around. So, these characters that we did get was okay, it was Sheldon. Okay, Sheldon, Raj, Howard, and Bernadette. There was also a secondary set, apparently. Sheldon as Green Lantern, Amy, Leonard, and Penny. So I would imagine between the two sets, unless I'm missing somebody, maybe Howard's mother, um, you pretty much get all the characters that you would need between the both sets. Who releases this, by the way? I am curious. This is SD Toys Merchandising. I don't know if it's a case where these just haven't done all that well, or maybe that my geek box has just picked up a whole bunch of these. But I guess, yeah, if you like the blockier, stockier builds of just very stylistic-looking characters, then yeah, these, these are kind of fun. Not as excited, mind you, as the Big Bang Theory as I am of Back to the Future. Let's get a Doc Brown, hopefully, down the road. Uh, we also got ourselves a couple of starships. All right. Now, this is one thing that really did pique my curiosity in previous unboxings, was the Eagle Moss Starships from Star Trek. I don't recognize this one necessarily. Does it say anywhere on the box? It doesn't. Of course it doesn't. I'm going to have to open this one up. I see two of them. One looks like a, a mining vessel. Actually, it kind of looks like kind of looks a little familiar to me. I'm going to open this one up first. Because on the bottom here, it says it's the Vallis. The Vallis. Anybody have any ideas? Let me know down below in the comments section. The alien spacecrafts I'm not as familiar with. Does it kind of look like... Didn't Buck Rogers have a ship like this? Although it was a little bit more silver in color. It's kind of more of a copper color. It's a pretty neat looking ship though. 
probably the unlikelihood there's going to be a case where I'm going to find myself like a Romulan warbird or a Klingon bird of prey. Yeah, those would be the ships that everybody would probably be getting on board. These ones, again, I'm not as familiar with. This is the back seal. Or is it the back sile? It looks to be like some sort of mining vessel or a cargo vessel. If anybody knows the series of Star Trek this is pulled from, certainly some 411 would be greatly appreciated from this humble reviewer. So it looks like we didn't get ourselves much in the way of t-shirts, but if you are somebody that likes blocky, stocky figures, there was, of course, the Pixels variety, both the Big Bang and the Back to the Future, and we got a couple of new starships. Again, welcomed. Bring more of those if you can, my geek box. If you'd like to get on board the My Geek Box band bandwagon train, that's not really a thing, you can click the link down below and subscribe to the My Geek Box, and you'll deliver, they'll have delivered to your doorstep every single month. A gray box, a black box, they might even just switch things up and deliver to your doorstep. A green box, I don't know, we'll have to see. And certainly while you are in the market of doing things, you're liking the content you're seeing on this channel, well, you can do a whole bunch of things. You can do this, you can do this, you can do this. And certainly keep your peepers peeled and make sure you come back to this channel. Because not only are we going to be doing some more unboxings of subscription boxes, but there's tons of other things always coming back to this channel. So again, making sure you keep your peepers peeled. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.